Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Please subscribe and ring the bell for more simple and objective videos on topics that matter. In this video, we're going to look at a simple explanation of communism, as well as an explanation for private property, examples of communism, and lastly the pros and cons of communism. Communism is a political and economic ideology that advocates for the establishment of a classless society in which all resources and wealth are owned and controlled by the community as a whole. The goal of communism is to create a society in which the means of production are owned by the people and goods and services are distributed according to the needs of the community. In this system, there is no private property and all individuals work together to create a society that is free from economic and social inequality. Private property is a fundamental concept within the communist ideology and it is one of the main issues that distinguishes communism from other economic systems. In communism, private property refers to the means of production, such as factories, land, and machinery, which are typically owned and controlled by individuals or corporations. Communists believe that private property leads to economic inequality and exploitation, as the owners of these means of production can use them to extract profit from the labor of others. They argue that private property is a form of theft, as it allows individuals to take the fruit of others' labors without contributing anything themselves. In a communist system, private property is abolished, and the means of production are owned and controlled by the community as a whole. This means that everyone has equal access to resources and wealth, and that the community collectively decides how resources are allocated and how work is organized. However, it is important to note that the concept of private property within communism does not necessarily mean that individuals cannot own personal possessions. For example, individuals may still own their own homes, clothing, and personal items. The distinction is between personal property, which is owned for individual use, and private property, which is owned for the purpose of extracting profit from the labor of others. The origins of communism can be traced back to the writings of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels in their book The Communist Manifesto, published in 1848. They laid out the basic principles of communism, arguing that the capitalist system was inherently flawed and would eventually be replaced by a socialist system, which would in turn lead to communism. According to Marx and Engels, capitalism created a society in which the wealthy controlled the means of production while the working class was exploited and forced to sell their labor for low wages. They argued that this system was unsustainable and that the only way to create a truly just society was to abolish private property and create a system in which the means of production were owned by the people. In a communist society, the government controls all aspects of the economy and resources are distributed based on need rather than profit. This means that everyone has access to the basic necessities of life, such as food, housing, and healthcare, regardless of their social status or wealth. However, the implementation of communist policies has been controversial and has often led to authoritarian regimes. The Soviet Union, for example, was a communist state that was founded in 1922 and collapsed in 1991. While the Soviet Union was initially successful in industrializing the country and improving the standard of living for many people, it eventually became bogged down by corruption, inefficiency, and a lack of innovation. Similarly, China has been governed by the Chinese Communist Party since 1949. While the party has implemented a number of communist policies, including the collectivization of agriculture and the nationalization of industry, it has been criticized for its political repression, human rights violations, and environmental degradation. Despite these challenges, communism remains a popular ideology in many parts of the world, particularly in countries with a history of colonialism and imperialism. Supporters of communism argue that it is the only way to create a truly just society in which resources and wealth are distributed fairly, everyone has access to basic necessities, and promotes a sense of community and collective responsibility. However, critics argue that communism is inherently flawed and that it leads to authoritarianism, the violation of individual freedoms, lack of incentive, and economic inefficiency. What are your thoughts about communism? Leave a like and a comment and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.